Oh, si John. What the hell? Que... Que é isso? Chegou uma nova flecha. Oh, chega é suto. Bora correr. Não sei como é persiga. Zero. This is what you Consider esta cosa. Since I jotted down something other than my nightmares. Okay. Natural sciences. Linguistics, archaeology. Oh. A good old story of blackmail in a speech. Oh, yeah. Married woman runs off with her girlfriend. Her husband couldn't understand it. I used to be an avid reader. Been too long since I've slept in a bed. Some of 
our documents. Is that right? I'm so very sorry, but I have to collect your personal information yet again. Entonces yo creo que yo puedo. Okay, vamos a ver. I'm coming. <laughs> Sir, I came here on the advice of a person whom I hold in high esteem, and I must say that I expected anything but a drunkard's lair. You're free to leave any time, sir. Do you know to whom you speak? Stephen Webster, industrialist and art collector. All of Boston knows you. Tell me, Mr. Pierce, are you capable of handling a new case, or are you simply a deadbeat inebriate? If you come to me, it means you're desperate. Nobody believes me. They take me for an old fool. Sarah, my little girl, she is dead. Even you must know of her. She was Sarah Hawkins. The painter? Yes. Everyone knows her work. The police accuse her of killing her family. They all died in a fire. Sarah, her husband, <coughs> and Sarah, her <coughs> I can't do anything for a woman who was already dead. Find out the truth. They say she was mad, but I know that's a lie. She would never have done such a thing. But if you have no proof, I've brought all that I have. Look. I want you to look carefully at this painting. Tell me all the assumptions that come to mind. What am I supposed to find? Tell me... Tell me if this is the work of madness. Or if, on the contrary, you manage to detect some logic, a rationality to follow so that I may understand. Is that all you want from me? Yes, please. All right. I'll look at your picture. Oh, I That's all you've got. got the the a painting. I placed a file on your desk. It contains everything I have on the affair. A warehouse on Darkware. Some sketches of the Hawkins family. Rather thin. Los otros de la familia Hart no es mucho. Una etiqueta de envío es casi ilegible, pero te entiendo parte de la dirección de almacén 36 de Aguar en informe policial. Dice que el, que el fuego empezó en el condado y se llevó a toda la familia. La policía concluye que fue un. Accidente doméstico, sin embargo, hacen hincapié en la fragilidad mental de Sarah Houston porque no recuerdo el precio artículo con el matrimonio de Sarah y Charlie Hoskin, un hombre de negocio en la isla Guad. Es una vida solitaria con su único hijo. Eh. <coughs> oh, 
What's this symbol on the man's chest? What are the signs? Sarah Hawkins breathed a message into it. So, Mr. Pierce, what do you make of these elements? All of you. Dark water. Never heard of the place. Where is that? It's a small remote island off the coast of Boston. Sarah lived there with her son and her husband. I suppose you want to ship me off there. Darkwater holds the secret regarding my daughter, Mr. Pierce. You must uncover it. You must tell me if what the police suggest about the mental state of your daughter is true. No. Sarah had visions. Everyone knew that. She never would have heard a fly. She only thought she saw things. Saw things? What do you mean by that? I never knew what she meant by that. My daughter was an enigmatic figure, Mr. Pierce. You must find out the truth about her life and death. The sender's label mentions Warehouse 36. That's right. It came with Sarah's last painting. And you think your daughter could have been the sender? That is what you must find out. Go to Darkwater. Find Warehouse 36. Her husband was a big deal on the island. But the police are sticking to the accident. Though they mentioned Sarah's mental state. I believe you are right, sir. This case is not as simple as it appears. I am aware of that. I believe there is more to this case than just an accident. Yeah, the meaning could be exactly as it appears. I think your daughter is sending you a message. That's what I believe, too. It was three months ago that I received the call from the police telling me of my daughter's death. And yet a short while after, this painting was delivered to my home. The painting is linked to this case, can't you see? You must find the meaning behind all this. I think I'm beginning to understand. I'm willing to do anything for my daughter to recover her honor. Quiet down. I'm on your side. Let's sum things up. An artist dies with her family in a house fire. Your only clue is a sort of promontory painting sent from dark water right before her death. Correct. And the rumors about her supposed folly. Which you don't totally deny. Find that warehouse. Find out the truth regarding Sarah Hawkins' death. You'll be handsomely compensated. All right. I'll take the case. I'll go to dark water. And look into the death of your daughter. Thank you, Mr. Pierce. I didn't expect any less coming from a man in your situation. Something's queer. But it's not like I have a choice. Okay, I see all of our world. Dark water. I think I've got a book on the North Atlantic. The Lost Battalion. Holding your position and obeying orders. That isn't courage. The Lost Battalion. Holding your position and obeying orders. That isn't courage. El aprendizaje de la medicina por un mundo. Adentrate alla locura.
Stay on board. There's guys coming to unload. Welcome to Darkwater Island. <laughs> Why, thank you, Captain Hector. So, what wind brought you? Does the Hawkins case mean anything to you? Uh, a sad story that we would all prefer to forget. Charles Hawkins may have been a landlubber, but he was a good man. And his wife, Sarah Hawkins. A uh, nice young woman and a great painter. What a tragedy. You know what? Go have a drink of the stranded whale. What you need is a good pick-me-up. Mitchell may not be very welcoming, but his bar holds a surprise for you. As for me, you'll find me at the Harbor Master's office. If it's the Hawkins family that brings you here, I have a pile of documents that should interest you. Understood. I'm going for a look around the docks. Ok, vamos lá. Tudo tá bom, porque tem que ter. Hey Sullivan, the same goes for you, sir. Move along. I'm looking for this address, Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. Ah, and so who are you? I didn't introduce myself. Edward Pierce, private detective. In any case, it's not very important. I can't answer that. You can't? Or you don't want to? Oh, no, no. I'm not getting into those games, me. Now, please, allow me to do my job. You can't understand. You're not sailing. You can see that I'm busy, can't you? You can't understand. Don't put that beast back in the water, you shysters. You're... You can see that I'm busy, can't you? You That's can't no understand. You're not sailors. Element. Oh, yeah. It's a sign. The blood is just beginning to coagulate. It died a short time ago. Killer whales have few predators. And there are no sharks in these waters. What creature could possibly have done this? You can't understand. You're not sailors. It's a sign. There's something coming. Something real bad. Nothing for you here either. There's nothing Beat to sort heads. out. Your chum wanted to <laughs> sort 
still for this. It was a water of course. I wonder what Captain Fitzroy has got to say about this woman, Cat. Broken. This place seems half abandoned. This blackboard hasn't been used in a long while. The Scylla. It finished up beached at the entrance to the harbor. The second volume. This man and Fitzroy could be twins. Or do you What a macabre souvenir. Macabre souvenir. I brought out the Charles Hawkins cargo. Jumbles, a table next to you. But in truth, you're likely to be disappointed. When you're done, come join me on the deck. I brought out the Charles Hawkins cargo manifests. They're on the table next to you. But in truth, you're likely to be disappointed. When you're done, come join me on the deck. I brought out the Charles Hawkins cargo manifests. They're on the table next to you. But in truth, you're likely to be disappointed. When you're done, come join me on the deck. These manifests are signed by Charles Hawkins. But that's all I'll get from them. Hey, be careful. Let's get him another drink. You try. In my bar, we don't serve troublemakers. I was looking at the no he sido yo quien he venido pidiendo que el tipo no ha mostrado respeto creo que es a él you saw what happened he's the troublemaker oh you're a true mainland a real prince then you strut around with your la di da ways and then as soon as the pressure arises you start squealing you don't have what it takes to drink my whiskey. You've got to earn it. I'm here for information, not for a fight. I prefer it that way. Speak then. I reserve the right to answer or not. Do you know where this place is? Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. The Hawkins Warehouse. I see, yeah. If I were you, I wouldn't hang around there. Why not? First off, there are rumors. Sailors from around here say you can hear noises coming from the warehouse at night. Screams, that sort of thing. Screams? And that's not all. There's the fate of its owners and all the superstitions that go with it. But I'll say no more. Anything else? I didn't expect to find alcohol on this island. What's the source of this miracle? You mean who? 
Our source of supply wouldn't like me to betray them to the first comer. I'll tell nobody. She'd know it anyway. Anything else? Captain Fitzroy told me about a little pick me up. Oh, yeah? That must have been before you came looking for a fight in my bar. Oh, come on. Because of a little tussle. Drinking it here is a privilege, and I grant the privilege to whoever I want. Anything else? Yeah. What can you tell me about her? We all knew she was famous on the mainland for her paintings. Never understood why. Then, I don't want to speak ill of the dead. Rola bomba de zarajados. Quien es por cierto que eran esta. I've got what I need. Anything else? The stranded whale. I guess this bar has been here a long time. What can I tell you? I'm a nostalgic sort of guy. The name, it reminds us of the golden age of dock water. When our whalers left for long months and came back, sweating and stinking of the oil and the flesh of the whales they'd been hunting. It was a tough time, all the same. Ah, but steeped in glory. We've never known such wealth since then. What can you tell me about her? We all knew she was famous on the mainland. Oh, just the 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 never understood why. Then, I don't want to speak ill of the dead. Her vision. Was it so terrible? The way I see it, the truth is really a question of point of view. What do you mean by that? Do you still trust the truth after a bottle of whiskey? Her style made her famous. How would you describe it? Tortured? Yeah. Well, it wasn't normal. I mean, for a young woman with a child and all that. We saw them in the papers and we said to ourselves, who can paint such things? Is that how she sees the world? So they made you feel uncomfortable? You need to see them for yourself. Make up your own mind. I've got what I need. Anything else? What can you tell me about her? We all knew she was famous on the mainland for her paintings. Never understood why. Then, I don't want to speak ill of the dead. I've got what I need. Anything else? That'll be all for now. Hmm. Nightmares. Can hear things and voices whispering. Will follow its reader and appear at various locations. Gifted with its own consciousness. Until it finds a new reader.
the miraculous catch. Well, this is Apparently, isn't... the most significant event of the last 80 years. like this. I'm a doctor. You laugh. For not a life. Well, there is Do you like our song? <laughs> We're true sirens. Some old we may not be pros, but we give it all we've got. That's true. It's a reminder of the time when we were still fishing for whales off Darkwater Island. Yes. I've never heard this song before. Only people from here know it. It tells the story of the miraculous catch. I saw the newspaper clipping. You don't believe it, do you? Watch what you say, young man. That catch saved our island. Ah. Where's the proof? We're the proof. Without it, the whole of Darkwater would have died of hunger in 1847. It's true. Everything happened, just as it says in the newspaper report. Our grandparents tasted its flesh. And it was delicious. What brought whaling to an end? The whales, of course. They all disappeared. You exhausted the stocks. You could say that, yes. There were fewer and fewer of them. Until the last, the biggest. The one of the miraculous catch. Exactly. So, that one was challenging. I bid you farewell, gentlemen. Good night, stranger. So long. What you looking at, stranger? Nada, pues me gusta beber. Eso está como si te lo molesta. I'm just passing by. Sorry. Let me drink, stranger. I told you to beat it. Eh, no quieres esa pregunta. Nothing for you There's here either. Beat it. Your chum wanted to stir us up. <laughs> Are you get that job. Look at the load. They're crazy. They're cops. They can't understand. Damn stupid idiots. Forget it. Nobody listens to us anyway. That's no way to treat an omen. Oh, yeah. He's gonna get us into... You can see that I'm busy, can't you? You can't understand. You're not sailors. It's a sign. There's something coming. 
Não é que eu já não vou fazer aqui, não é o que eu me digo aqui agora. From here I see everything that goes on in the harbor. The hard working lives of my sailors, the fights of the stranded whale. Even the antics of these wharf rats don't escape me. It's you who lays down the law around here. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. I'm just the last serving captain on Darkwater. Tell me what I can do to help you. Documentos. I'm just back from the wharves. The dead killer whale is unsettling the sailors. Ah, yes. Us men of the sea are superstitious folk. Uh... I examined its wounds. I know of no creature able to cause them. And I took you for a detective. Believe me when I say that these wounds are significant. Come, come. You've only just arrived on dark water. And already you think like a sailor. The police took the decision to put the killer whale back into the sea. You've got to understand them. They didn't know what to do with it. I think that was a mistake. Who says that whatever caused those wounds is no longer in these waters? <laughs> you think we should have kept it? To look into the real cause of its death, at least. I found a threatening letter signed by a certain cat. Well, that's weird. I don't mind you visiting my harbor master's office, but I'd prefer if you didn't go through my affairs. Are you being blackmailed? Not exactly, no. That shyster wants to make us pay protection money. With any success? I wouldn't say that, but she terrifies my men as much as her own. Can you not do anything to stop her? Don't you worry about that. So the miraculous catch is it a local legend not at all it's an episode from our glorious past go read the story of the sailors return to darkwater harbor it's displayed on the wall of the stranded whale i was looking at your photograph the one of the man in front of the boat. Ah, yes, I can see the one you're talking about. Interesting resemblance. I thought it was you, but with a wooden leg. And for good reason. That's my father in the photograph. Your father? John Fitzroy, captain of the Scylla. His wooden leg is here. You can go and see it if you're interested. Your manifests have been blacked out. They're totally unreadable. Yeah, I saw that. I've got no idea who did it or why. I don't remember having countersigned anything special enough for someone to hide it. And why obliterate the dates as well as the good stories? You mean that the dates have some meaning? I'm surprised Charles Hawkins had goods to store, knowing that whaling stopped in 1847. I see that you're interested in the history of our island. Indeed, maritime activities ceased altogether at the end of the last century. I imagine that the Hawkins family had other types of contracts. 
But you don't know with whom? No. It was none of my business. Yes. I'm looking for Warehouse 30... Look, it's right there. The warehouse is opposite the jetty. You can't miss it. Understood. You know who the building belongs to, don't you? No tengo ni idea, me subestima, esto me parece un juego de pertenencia de los... It belonged to the Hawkins family. Precisely. Ship owners from father to son. I think that somebody here wanted me to search this warehouse. Can you tell me where the warehouse is again? Look, I've already shown it to you. It's the one with the cop on guard duty out front. You can't miss it. Understood. I shall be on my way. So come back and see me when you've got something new. Oh, la gente se movieron. Tienes que hablar con eso. ¿Para qué esta gente se movieron? Where do you think you're going? I'm not here to hinder your work, officer. Edward Pierce, private detective. Sorry, we're all a little on edge today. What are you doing here? I'm investigating the death of the Hawkins family. Darn it. Why do you want to drag up all that stuff again? My investigation has led me to this warehouse. That case was closed months ago. What more can you say about the death of the Hawkins? Not much more than what everyone knows. I wasn't on the case. They were all burnt to death, right? Up at their place. The whole mansion was in flames. Don't get it into your head to go wandering around up there. It's dangerous. What do you mean by that? The only one left there is old Silas. And the accident is affected him badly. He can be unpredictable, especially if a stranger starts poking around the property. Is he a danger to the public? No, he's in his own home. Do yourself a favor, leave him well alone. Stranger, which is that type of one? That type of one doesn't have anything to say, man. You live here? Why did you do that, huh? We saw what you did okay, to St. Brendan. Yeah, we'll teach you to come onto our island and ridicule our protectors. I've never heard of this saint. Is it a local belief? <laughs> But everyone knows St. Brendan, the Navigator. He's the patron saint of whales and whalers. What happened to the statue? Go see for yourself. He's at the end of the jetty. There's you, our beloved statue, and then those two bozos behind us. Wait, now that I think about it, it's got to be them. There's one of them who's always going back and forth to the statue. Quieter. That's all we need for them to hear us. What brings you to dark water? There's some of people that want to move out here. The two guys behind you. What are they guarding? The bootleggers. Scum. They're protecting their territory. From whom, I wonder? They really don't have a choice anyway. They're more scared of cat than an attack by drunken sailors. If only they would kill each other. That statue represents your local saint. What do you mean by local, exactly? You wouldn't be looking down at us, like all townspeople do. Saint Brendan. 
He protected whalers and fishermen like us. Until those assholes defaced him. Peculiar house. Yeah, that's where we live. Our boat. It's not because it doesn't float anymore that we're going to abandon it. Isn't it a bit early for alcohol? We got nothing better to do anyway. There's not much work around here. Fitzroy gives us a few chores every now and again, but since the whaling station shut down, there ain't a lot of jobs left around here. So we drink. Is it Cat who's shaking down Captain Fitzroy? Oh, hold on, hold on just a minute. We didn't tell you a thing. Nothing at all. Well, well. I've taken enough of your time. We'll see you later. Come on, you can tell me. No, if it gets out, I'll have serious problems with you know who. I bet that you hid them somewhere in your hut, on the dock. How could you be dumb enough to leave the entrance to the warehouses unguarded? Why not go and shout at the cat while you're at it? I don't want to end up with her little knife on the throat. It's a stiletto, you idiot. And with that smell on your breath, I don't give you much chance anyway. Alright, then move. Who's this guy? No idea. You better keep it shut. <laughs> Why we don't have a clear conscience? What's with you wandering around here like a hungry dog? We saw you talking to the two soaks. Go die of thirst, the lot of you. It'll stink less. I've got to enter the Hawkins warehouse. I guess it's going to be complicated. No, it's very simple, in fact. Fuck off. I don't give a damn about your racket. I just want to get into this warehouse. And we don't give a damn about you. Whatever your reason for wanting inside, there's nothing we can do for you. What happened to the statue of St. Brendan? Dreadful. What makes you think we did it? We're bootleggers, not savages. Who do you think defaced the statue? What do I know? They could have done it by themselves. The sailors? Who else, in your opinion? And who's interested? Well, I think I'll leave it here. I think I'll leave it here. 